Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to drag and drop a UI object in Unity. So if you like what you see, be sure to watch this tutorial and I'll show you how to do this. If you don't have an event system object, you can create one by going to game object, UI, and then event system. So firstly, we're going to go to our canvas. This is the canvas setup we have here, and we're going to right click and create a new UI image. This is going to be what we're going to drag and drop. Next, right click in the assets folder, go to create C sharp script and call it custom drag. Then double click on it to open it in Visual Studio. Firstly, make sure you have Unity Engine and Unity Engine.Event Systems imported at the top. Above the class, we're actually going to do a public interface I custom drag and inside we're going to do void on current drag. So think of an interface like a to-do list. This list is something that you promise to do. In our case, we have to do a list called iCustomDrag, and there's only one task, which is called onCurrentDrag. This task means we're going to do something when something is being dragged, and you'll see why we're doing this in a moment. So now we need to do our public class custom drag colon mono behavior, but we're also going to do a comma here and then do I drag handler, which is going to allow us to access the on drag function that Unity has. And then we're going to do serialize field game object, object to interact with, and we're going to do private I custom drag on drag, and in our start function we're going to do on drag equals object to interact with dot get component i custom drag. This um, private game object variable, we can view it in the inspector because we do serialize field. And this is going to be the object that we want to drag. So in this example, it would be that white square in our canvas. And that white square is going to have another script attached to it. And that script is going to implement the i custom drag interface that we created before and we need to get a reference to it. In our start function, so when the program opens, we're going to do on drag equals object to interact with dot get component i custom drag. So we're going to be getting the script that has the i custom drag interface implemented. And then this is going to allow us to tell this script when the object is being dragged and then we can do whatever we want when that object is being dragged. But also, we're implementing an iDrag handler in our custom drag, so we can access the onDrag function. So let's do that. We're going to do public void on drag point event data event data. So we don't actually need to interact with this. Inside we do on drag dot on current drag. So we're telling the script that has the i custom drag interface attached to it, you need to execute the on current drag function because this object is being dragged. Save the work. Go back to Unity. Now we're going to create another script and we're going to call it square. Double click on it to open it up. Firstly, do comma i custom drag so we can use the i custom drag interface. And then we're going to add this code into the square class. So let's break it down. So firstly, we're going to be storing the rec transform of our UI image. And the rec transform is basically responsible for positioning, rotation, and scale. So in awake, we're going to do rec transform equals get component rec transform. And this line of code just gets the rec transform of our image and stores it here. Then we're going to do public void on current drag rec transform position equals inputs dot mouse position. So we're going to set the position of our square to be the same position as our mouse. And it's the function that we made in our I custom drag interface. So what's going to happen is whenever we drag the object, this on drag is going to call the on current drag function in this square object. Make sure you save your code and then we go to our little square. We're going to drag on the custom drag we're going to drag on the square and then drag the image object into the object to interact with field. And that's all we need to do. So when we save the work, we hit play. And look, we can drag around our square. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching.